Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Good morning, good morning everyone. We are leaving. Yes, it's a beautiful bright Sunday morning and we are off to uh, Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, here we go. That's a very nice trip. Although we are a day late leaving. Not late for this load, but uh, a day later leaving than I originally wanted. But then I probably would have been on a different load. But. Turn left on Main Street, Highway 52, and then slide drive in 200 meters. All right, RJ. We will do the opposite. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, uh, I wanted to uh, leave yesterday, but uh, that didn't work out. So, as you probably saw on yesterday's video, or even on the day before his video, I uh, ran into a well, ran into a problem with the truck repairs. So, fortunately, we weren't able to leave yesterday. Truck was done yesterday already at noon, but uh, I couldn't get a load until today. So I lost a day's wages because of that. But we'll survive, we'll survive. But now this truck sounds a lot better. Since I got that exhaust flex pipe fixed. That sounds a lot quieter, that's for sure. In three kilometers, make a U-turn if possible. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. No way. No way we're gonna do that. Not even close. Anyways, we'll make our way to the border. I'm just sure hoping that I'm not gonna be sitting at the border for a while. Last time I got this kind of load, I ended up having to sit at the border for four hours before I even could cross the border. And they told me right away in the, in the morning already when I got to uh, Penner's yard that the load hadn't been cleared yet. So, uh, so I'm kind of like. Luckily, my friend already texted me last night and asked me if I would uh, want to go out for breakfast with him today, and so I said, sure, why not? So we did that, and then we went over there, just across the street from Penner, there's a little strip mall in there, and they got Skyline in there, it's a restaurant there, so we went and had some breakfast. We got that taken care of. We don't have to eat anymore for a while. Now we're going to try and make in some miles. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that uh, our border crossing will be cleared soon. Because it's only an hour and 15 minutes to the border, so it's it ain't going to be cleared soon. I mean, I'm just leaving now, but you know what I'm saying? Like, if I don't get it cleared within the next 45 minutes, I'll be sitting there. No, well, I guess I'll be 
there's nothing I can do about that. Anyways, let's get down the road and have yourself a great day. Well, guys, <laughs> so we are with the trucker jukebox on the phone. So, jukebox, say hi to everybody. Hi, how's everybody doing today on this nice, gorgeous, sunny day? And we want to give credit to trucker jukebox today. He sent me a text message this morning. He's saying he's praying for a nice weather for me because of the video that was released a week ago from today. I blame him 100% for the bad weather that we got because he was saying to me that I was going to get snow. And uh, here we are giving him credit for the nice sunny day because he sent me a text this morning. He prayed that we're going to have nice weather. So uh, we are certainly having nice weather. Well, I, I put on my hulu skirt. I went out there and did the hulu dance and, and, and shook this thing up in the air and said, give Rudy good weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and this, uh, this audio is going to be on, uh, on video, so if you want to say anything else, just fire at it. Keep the, sh or keep the greasy side down, keep the shiny side up, stay safe, and keep it compliant. Don't break the rules out there. Alrighty. Alright guys, we will be back later on. Alrighty guys, we are in North Dakota. Yes, we just crossed the border and it's still nice and sunny. Yeah, I'm loving it. Definitely. It doesn't feel really windy or anything like that, so I'm having a great day. I was yapping away with Trucker Jukebox there earlier. Yeah, he's having a lot of fun. It's always fun talking to him. I enjoy, I enjoy his company. Well, guys, you guys have been asking me to do backup videos and give some tips and stuff like that. So here we are at the truck stop. And I'm probably just going to go turn around the camera up here. And... Uh, we're going to do a backup video for you guys today. I got a camera in the back of the uh, of the trailer hooked up to there, and we are going to do a backup uh, video up here. Yeah, the person asking for it asked me to give them some tips and. Uh, talk a little bit about what to do in your backup and stuff like that so we're gonna try and do our best or at least we're gonna try so I'm gonna try and hold the camera up here so you guys can see a little bit I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it but uh, we're gonna give it a shot anyways and uh, so what you want to try and do is line up with that uh, trailer up there or tractor up there and uh, I think what the uh, biggest issue is with a lot of drivers they oversteer you know they're always oversteering that's what I'm doing up here too so you can probably see a little bit I'm oversteering a little bit I'm pulling forward a little bit and then uh, We'll give it another shot. Just gotta make uh, make sure I don't hit the other trucks on the side here. So, and anyways, we're backing her in, and it's usually easier to back in if you're backing in this way compared to uh, backing in the other way. If you're backing in on the uh, passenger side, it's usually pretty difficult because then that's blindsiding backing into there, you know. Anyways, we got ourselves in here. Well, there it is, guys. I'm really hoping that you guys were able to... Uh, to see the whole spiel up here on how I was uh, backing into the spot up here 
I'm gonna go get my camera from the back before somebody steals it, you know? But anyways, on this mirror you can usually see a little bit better on uh, how to back in and stuff like that. But what you usually want to try and do is like like the way I was backing into here, like you can probably see a little bit, is uh, pull up all the way as far as you can and try and get with your trailer so that your trailer is really close lined up to where you want to back into. And what I was trying to say earlier is a lot of people they oversteer when they're backing into a spot and that's one mistake that you don't want to do you don't want to turn it all the way you know turn it slightly and then back up and look you know and uh, also if it's really super tight don't be too lazy or scared to get out of the truck and walk to the other side of the trailer and go look to make sure you're not hitting another truck you know but anyways that's my two cents of it we are in fargo north dakota right now and I'm gonna go have me a bite to eat, so we'll be back in a second. I know it's really, really windy out here, but I figured I would show you guys a little bit on what I did with my camera. Since there isn't really that many places to put the camera up, well, since we do all dual trailers, they got this bar right here. And so what I did with my camera system, I put this right there, and that's what I used to uh, film my show with. But anyways, just figured I would show you guys that a little bit on where this other camera was sitting at and uh, recording while I was backing up so hope you guys enjoyed that uh, backup video today and uh, leave me comments down below if you liked it and we'll do more of them or maybe more angles or whatever you know but anyways we'll put this stuff all away and then uh, we'll go have something to eat alrighty guys we are ready to roll again and just back to the uh, parking spiel when you pull out you don't want to start turning right away you want to wait till you get really close to the other trucks and then start turning like what i'm doing right now and you want to keep an eye on the mirror making sure that you don't uh, hit the other guy's truck you know take off his hood or don't turn too sharp either because uh because of the back swing on the uh on the trailer if you have your trailer axle really far to the front you got a bigger back swing on the back of the trailer and you could actually uh, side swipe the other truck if you turn too sharp you know or turn too quickly that could happen too you know so uh, you want to be careful of all that and just take her easy going around in the uh, and the truck stop too, you know, because uh, you never know, somebody might try to back out or pull out or whatever. And I wonder what uh, is going on up here. We got cops up here. Ah, see, this is exactly what I was just talking about. Somebody just hit him right there. Yeah, hope that guy got caught. I don't see the other guy's vehicle there, but. Man, oh man, that's exactly what I was just talking about. And I didn't even see that there before. Hope that camera caught it though. See, that's exactly what happens, you know. Somebody turned too sharp or something and they backed right into that guy. Or, he tried to take off or something. But to me, it almost looked like he backed into him. And that's why I was saying earlier, when you back in, and it's really tight don't be afraid or ashamed to uh to get out of the truck and walk over there and have a look look at it and see if you're close or not you know this guy probably did not do that turn right on 40, 50 otherwise he south. would not have probably Stand not have hit that guy you know rj be quiet i'm talking come on now I'm having a good show here, at least I'm thinking that I do. Some of you might disagree, but anyways, I like to think I have a good show. <laughs> oh, well, anyways, now let's get back on the big highway and make some miles, make some money. That's the reason why we're out here, to make money. Not really to make miles, but to make money. That's the biggest reason why we're out here. 
And because I get paid by the mile, miles, I guess I need miles. <laughs> Some guys get paid percentage, but not me. Not me. Anyways, I hope that was very educational for you guys for uh, parking tips and uh, getting out of the parking spot and all that. I certainly hope that I can be uh, looked at as a, in a positive way of talking about the trucking industry and uh, and I hope that uh, if there is you know beginners out there or you know new guys that. Uh, are getting into the industry or just gotten into the industry or somebody's thinking about getting into the industry that uh, I'll be able to provide you guys with some great uh, ideas and tips and things that work for me and things that might work for you or whatever to help you out to uh, get you started without Continue having a problem so. for 162 miles. get you started in a, in a good way and uh, you don't uh, ruin your uh, record right away or screw your job up, you know? So, that's just my two cents of the whole spiel, anyways. So let's get down the road and we'll be in uh, Minnesota here pretty soon. Just got a few miles to go and we'll be in Minnesota. Good evening, guys. It is dark outside and I have made it as far as uh, Wilson Wisconsin and I ran into a little bit of a snag here this afternoon you know I was driving along and all of a sudden I started noticing that my uh, pressure on the air tanks like the the air pressure in the air tanks was staying all the time up I'm not used to it. Usually, you know, about every 15, 20 minutes, I see the gauge, you know, so, you know, it, over time, it slowly goes down to about 90 PSI, and then the compressor kicks in, and it kicks it back up to 30, 130 PSI, and uh, it wasn't going down at all, so uh, eventually, I stepped on the brake, and it went down a little bit, but it right away went up, and it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to wait till it gets about between 100 and 90 PSI, all depending on what your truck is set at. And mine is usually at 90 PSI. Then the compressor kicks in. Well, you know, I, I went down to like 110 PSI and as soon as I uh, stopped stopping on the brakes, uh, it went straight back up to 130 PSI. So I knew something was wrong so I stopped and uh, checked it all out and noticed that uh, one little tiny hose is probably about that thick that goes to the compressor was broken off. Yeah, that little thing is broken off. So uh, I went and looked at it and looked at it and it took me a while to figure out where that little hose is supposed to go. But I managed to figure out where it's supposed to go and uh, so I screwed out a uh, little piece that's right screwed right into the compressor where the hose goes into because it's one of those quick uh, release connectors. And I screwed it out and sure enough that's where the rest of the hose was in. But now the challenge was getting it out. It took me a while to get it out and screw drivers and all kinds of stuff. Finally got it got it all mangled out of there and but now since I've been playing around with it so much the uh, it's loose in there now the other hose when I stick it back in there it's loose and every time the compressor comes on it kicks the, the hose back out so I'm gonna have to get me a new fitting like that but uh, I think I fixed her I uh, temporarily anyways I went inside the truck stop and got me some of that uh, JB glue or whatever you call it them two tubes that you uh, mix them together and uh, yeah, glued the sucker in there. I figured, well, we'll let it set overnight and we'll see tomorrow morning how strong that stuff will be. It says on the, on the paperwork there it's supposed to withstand 2,424 PSI. Now that's way more than 130 PSI. So we'll see. 
we'll see what that will do for me tomorrow but keep my fingers crossed if it don't work it don't work but I figure it's better than nothing I got nothing to lose really if I get me a new connection all I do is just cut the hose off if it's glued on there and <laughs> put the new connection in there I can unscrew that no problem and uh, we'll get it fixed right but anyways that's the whole spiel of that uh, thing you know so uh, I'm ready to go to bed now I'm settled in now I think I finally relax enough to uh, let that thing go and uh, so we're done well thank you guys very much for joining my channel I do appreciate that especially if you comment on my uh, videos or you share my videos or you give me the thumbs up if you subscribe to my channel hey that's even better anyways have a good day good night whatever it is for you whenever you got around to watch in this video and uh, my show will be up again tomorrow at 5 a.m we'll have a new video so be sure to stay tuned for that god bless have a good day <laughs>